Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back, and this is HD. I'm going to be doing a product review today, and this is a special product, as you guys can see right here. It is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460, uh, specifically branded by EVGA, and uh, you guys might be wondering why I'm doing this. Well, as you guys already know, StarCraft II recently came out, and with the launch of the game, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering how you can improve your graphical quality of the game with an affordable and powerful graphics card. So it's a real nice card because it's going to future-proof your, com your computer and on top of that it's going to allow you to play StarCraft 2 at the maximum settings without any troubles whatsoever. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this box. As you guys can see, ooh, the light is shining quite brightly there. As you guys can see on the box, it's just a standard uh, picture and um, display and talks about the warranty information and other cool fun stuff. Um, and the design for this card is actually quite nice as well. So let's go ahead and open this box and see what is inside. Alright, so as we open the box, you guys can see that the graphics card does come in a carton container. There's the open box right there, nothing to see. I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And inside the carton container, you are going to get your EVGA NVIDIA graphics card user guide. You're also going to get your GTX 460 series quick start guide, especially made by EVGA. Also going to get a bumper sticker, which is pretty cool. Slap that on your car or perhaps on your uh, computer case, whatever you like best. You're also going to get a driver install disk, which is going to allow you to quickly install the graphics card, run the drivers, and have the, the uh, graphics card ready to run right as soon as you uh, install it onto your computer. Uh, inside you also get a bumper sticker, which, there you go. Um, not a bumper sticker, actually, just a little sticker that you can throw on your computer case. So let's go ahead and take a look at the meat of this product, which is going to be held inside this carton. Um, and if we can figure out how to open this baby, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and put the graphics card aside for just a moment as we discuss some of the other extra peripherals you do get um, inside this carton. You get a USB to... I'm not quite sure. That is a USB to something converter. I believe that's HDMI. Could be wrong though. You also get a VGA to DVI converter, so you can obviously run from old school monitor to the new DVI uh, partition. You also get uh, power dongle cables. This is to go from the Molex into the six pin PCI Express adapter, so in case your power supply doesn't have enough of the six pin adapters, you can just you run this off your Molex. Um, very convenient right there. And you also get a second one as well. That's the carton casing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the meat of this product. This is the EVGA GTX 460 graphics card. Extremely powerful, affordable, and should be able to run any uh, game really on the market right now, especially StarCraft 2, without any problems whatsoever. So let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, there you guys see it, the EVGA GTX 460 graphics card. You guys can see at the tip here you do have two of those uh, six pin PCI Express power adapters um, that are required to run this graphics card, but thankfully EVGA does package these two right here so you can just plug them both in and then run them off your Molex if you needed to. Um, you also do need a PCI Express slot to plug this baby into your uh, computer. And of course on the back we have two DVI plugs to plug straight into your monitor as well as the exhaust right here. All in all, a fairly great design for a graphics card. Um, of course the air vent right here. And the GTX 460 will run you I believe close to 180 to 200 depending on where you purchase it. Um, but it's, it's a great graphics card and uh, stay tuned during this review because we're going to go ahead and take a look at how this graphics card will perform in StarCraft 2.
All right, so there you guys see the NVIDIA EVGA GeForce GTX 460 slapped onto my motherboard there. The test computer we're going to be using today is a Core i7 clocked at 4 gigahertz with 6 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Now, this is going to go ahead and show you guys the NVIDIA control panel is using the GTX 460. And of course, uh, we are going to be taking a look at the anti-aliasing, which NVIDIA is the only graphics provider that allows you to turn anti-aliasing on for StarCraft. For this test, we're going to go ahead and leave it off, though. Here's the in-game graphics options. You guys can see it is all maxed out and ultra settings, and my monitor is 1920 by 1080. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual game battle footage. You guys can see the GTX 460 holding at around 70 FPS. Very respectable number right there, considering the massive battle going on right now. Uh, on top of that, being on the creep, which on ultra settings, the creep is known to put an insanely large strain on most graphics cards. So the GTX 460 is faring quite well in this uh, test battle. Let's take another look right here with uh, some more Hydras coming up and the Sidestorm as well, of course. Uh, and the graphics card is still doing quite well, holding around 70. And we haven't really seen it dip below 50 at all. And ideally, for a gamer, you, you want to have around 50 to 60 FPS at the minimum. So let's go ahead and take a look at another battle. This is the most largest one that I could find. Uh, a lot of Archons, Sidestorms, Hydras, and the Creep as well, of course. The FPS hanging at around 60 average. And that really is a gamer's heaven and being able to uh, play StarCraft without uh, having any FPS issues and of course having it all on ultra settings. Now let's go ahead and use NVIDIA's feature here which does allow you to force anti-aliasing on and just for kicks and giggles let's put it on 32x which is just balls out bonkers for any graphics card to handle. Uh, anti-aliasing of course uh, at this mode forces the graphics card to render 32 times more to uh, smooth out all those jagged lines and edges and as you guys can see taking a pretty significant hit there down to 30 FPS but quite honestly um, in my opinion that is really really impressive. I didn't expect to see more than 10 or 20 but this is a huge battle on the creep and uh, at 32x anti-aliasing the graphics card the GTX 460 is still uh, chugging away at full steam ahead so really quite impressed with this graphics card and uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody who's looking to pick up a, a graphics card upgrade to be able to play StarCraft 2 at the highest quality settings. So there you guys go this is uh, my little review slash uh, test benchmark I suppose of uh, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460 and uh, yes this this camera was set up to be recording away from the monitor because I couldn't fraps it otherwise the uh, the FPS would have just been like 30 the whole time but uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that little uh, test review and uh, if you guys are interested in picking up the NVIDIA GTX 460 they should be in most stores near you uh, I think the price right now for that is around 200 and um, yeah, not a bad graphics card at all at a very affordable price range. Thanks a lot, guys. HD, signing out.